Hey, yo. <laughs> I don't know if what I read was true or not, bro. I don't know if people just trolling at this point on social media, bro. But, dog, if that shit is true, my nigga. Oh, boy. Man, let me go ahead and check this out, man. Bro. A popular rap artist is behind bars after a shocking arrest as authorities accuse him of being connected to an alleged murder for hire plot. Chicago rapper Dirk Banks, better known by his stage name Lil Dirk, was arrested yesterday after allegedly attempting to flee the country and at this time he's being we try to dip. held in a Broward County jail in Florida awaiting transfer to the U.S. Marshals. According to the FBI affidavit, the Grammy award-winning rapper is charged with conspiracy to commit murder for hire. His arrest comes on the same day as federal prosecutors announce in California the charges of five other men for the attempted murder of Georgia rapper. Oh, shit. That's real. Bro, I was reading, bro, I was reading some shit like that yesterday, and I was like, man, people just talking. I knew he, I knew Dirk got arrested, but I was like, man, people just talking. Because they keep connecting him to Quando Rondo. But hold up. Hold on, bro. Quando Rondo, whose real name is Taekwian Bowman. Prosecutors say those five men all have ties to Chicago gangs and all targeted the Georgia rapper in retaliation for the murder of Chicago rapper King Vaughn. That ain't even murder, it's self-defense. But hold on, but I didn't even my case to talk on, but hold up. Oh, man. I mean, it's still murder, though. But hold on, bro. Man, I don't know what it is, bro. But hold up targeted the Georgia rapper in retaliation for the murder of Chicago rapper. Bro, that social media is cooked, bro. Internet is cooked, bro. The internet shit getting a lot of people in trouble, bro. Man! The whole... Who is this? The whole Sly for Vaughn, get back for Vaughn, all of that, bro. Bro, look at this. Rapper King Vaughn. According to prosecutors, all five men who include Kavon London Grant rapper bro, retaliation, bro. King Vaughn. According to prosecutors, all five men who include Kavon London Grant, aka Vonnie, Asa Houston, aka Boogie, David Brian Lindsay, aka Brown Eyes, Keith Jones, aka Flocka, and DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, aka Didi. They all face charges, including conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire involving death, and use of a machine gun in a violent crime resulting in death. And the most serious charge carries up to the death penalty if convicted. Hey, yo! If convicted? De what? Ah! Not Dirk, bro. Come on, man. Ah, 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 ah. I tell you, we go to rock. Come on, bro. Not Dirk, bro. Get some, come on, get somebody else, though. Y'all gotta let Dirk alone, man. But hey, for real, though, hold up, though. What the hell? Death penalty, my nigga? Resulting in death and the most serious death and use of a machine gun in a violent crime resulting in death and the most serious charge carries up to the death penalty if convicted. According to prosecutors, all five men have ties to Lil Durk's hip-hop group Only the Family, also known as OTF. OTF was founded by Lil Durk more than a decade ago. And according to the F... More than a decade ago? Yeah, damn! FBI OTF members engage in violence, including murder and assault, at the direction of Lil Durk and to maintain their status in OTF. King Vaughn, whose real name was Devon Bennett, was also a part of OTF and frequently collaborated with and was a longtime friend of Lil Durk. King Vaughn was shot and killed in November of 2020 outside a nightclub in Atlanta. He was killed in the early morning hours of November 6 during an argument between two groups that escalated into gunfire. And he was fatally shot by Quando's associate Lil Tim after the argument. The indictment doesn't name Devon Bennett, a.k.a. King Vaughn. Instead, the charging documents state a high-ranking OTF member described by the initials DB got into a physical altercation with someone referred to as TB, and the circumstances surrounding that incident mirror King Vaughn's murder. The indictment says after DB's death, co-conspirator one made clear encoded. Bro, I saw that video and it's crazy, bro. Quando Rondo was mess was just having his time until Vaughn King Vaughn went in there and just. 
and all of that just started. No Tam came out, and everything just went out. It went. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy how life can just go that fast, bro. Pop smoke, gone. King Von, gone. Bro, XX, gone, bro. Damn, bro. So many good, so many good rappers, bro. Gone. Over this gang violence, bro. It's just black, black crime, bro. Black people, man. Damn, bro. Language that they would pay a bounty or monetary reward to anyone who took part in killing TB for his role in DB's murder. That co conspirator is allegedly Lil Dirk, who authorities say made it known he would pay a bounty to anyone who killed Quando Rondo. According to the court documents, the men used an OTF associated credit card to buy plane tickets to LA in August of 2022 to search for TB, who is now how dumb is that? By plane tickets to LA in August of 2022 to search for TB, who is allegedly Quando Rondo, and using funds provided by Lil Dirk. Dirk allegedly texted an associate arranging the flight, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. And prosecutors claim when there, Kavon Grant booked a hotel room for the men to stay at and provided the others with firearms. Grant allegedly procured cars, ski masks, and firearms that were used to find when there, Kavon don't book no flights under no names involved with me. And prosecutors claim when there, Kavon Grant booked a hotel room for the men to stay at and provided the others with firearms. Grant allegedly procured cars, ski masks, and firearms that were used to find, track, and kill TB. According to the FBI, there is video evidence that Dirk was staying at the house in the San Fernando Valley that day. A lot of the stories that we cover here at Law & Crime are very... bro, what? Academics could have solved that, bro. Even academics would have solved something like that. Yeah, somebody done messed up. Tough to tell. But part of the reason we're able to keep bringing you these types of stories is because of our great sponsors. So I want to take a moment to only have time for... I don't care about your sponsor, bro. That sponsor is taking too much of this video, bro. Download upside code LC two cars. Five cents back on your first gallon of gas. According to the indictment, Kavon. Hold on, five cents back on my first gallon. Of five cents, I it ain't really much, bro. Hey, hold on, bro. I'm gonna watch that later. Gas. As soon as I heard gas, I'm like, hey, I need that. Extra 25 cents back on your first gallon of gas. 25. According to the indictment, Kavon Grant allegedly rented two cars, one of which had a fake license plate for the men to use and follow Rondo and his 24-year-old cousin. But when Rondo and his cousin stopped for gas, according to prosecutors, Asa Houston allegedly drove to a nearby alley before Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, and a third unidentified man known in the indictment as co-conspirator 2 carried out the shooting, which was captured on surveillance video. Rondo wasn't injured. However, his cousin passed away after being fatally wounded. According to court documents, the five men and co-conspirators used facilities of interstate and foreign commerce, such as planes, cars, cell phones, and the internet with intent that the murder of TB be committed. After the shooting, according to the indictment, the men went to a nearby burger spot. For a M5? That's an M5, bro. Would have escalated. But that's a luxury slide by that guy. Damn. About to discuss payment. Then on the same day, they're on the internet with intent that the murder of TB be committed. After the shooting, according to the indictment, the men went to a nearby burger spot to discuss payment. Then on the same day, the credit card was used to purchase tickets for Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, Asa Houston. The same credit card you go a day before and a day after. DeAndre Wilson and co-conspirator two to travel back to Chicago. Lil Dirk wasn't named in the charging documents against Grant, Wilson, Jones, Lindsay, and Houston. But according to the indictment, the defendants were offered money and lucrative music opportunities with OTF for the murder of Quando Rondo. Prior to Lil Dirk's arrest, the Chicago rapper was being sued by the mother of Chicago drill rapper FBG Duck. FBG Duck was murdered in 2020, and his death led to several convictions in a federal conspiracy trial last January. 
but his mother sued Lil Durk, OTF, and King Von's estate, alleging they were all involved in the shooting as well. According to the suit, OTF operates as a criminal enterprise. After Grant, Jones, Lindsey, Wilson, and Houston were arrested Thursday, the FBI says Dirk booked two flights from South Florida airports, one to Dubai and one to Switzerland. He then... I, uh, <laughs> no extra diction, bro. That's crazy. Booked two flights from South Florida airports, one to Dubai and one to Switzerland. He then reportedly booked a flight to Italy, but was arrested in Miami before he could board that flight. Lil Dirk. That is crazy, bro. Trying to dip out the country, say I'm out there, mom. To Italy, but was arrested in Miami before he could board that flight. Lil Dirk and the other defendants are. Hey, but them, them, did, like, he took way too long. He took way too long to dip, though. Damn, Dirk could have made that flight, bro. And he took too long to make that flight. Damn. Being held pending their transfer back to L.A. I want to bring on now Detective Eric Barnes to break down this case even further. Eric, thank you so much for joining me today. You know, Lil Dirk is a really popular rapper. But what's your reaction to his arrest and his alleged connection to this murder for hire plot of Georgia rapper Hold on, that's a, hold Rondo on. Rondo. Detective Eric Barnes with them dreads, with the sleek back dreads. Hold on, fucked up hairline. Hey, I'm sorry. I apologize, Detective. Now, yeah, not but for real, though, I do apologize. I'm not even supposed to be doing this. But hey, hold on. Connection to the, the sleek back dreads got me, though. The, the hairlines is kind of messed up. I ain't even gonna lie on that. But I apologize for using the, the F word, you know. Excuse me for my, with my French and all of that. I apologize, Detective Eric Barnes, for that. That's not a proper way to, you know, talk about people. But yeah, let's get it. This murder for hire plot of Georgia rapper Quando Rondo. Well, you know, it's a it's a very interesting case. I've been following it for some some time now, um, but it's very uh, representative of things that are going on within the hip hop community these days. Of uh, the you know, one foot in the studio, one foot in the streets. And talk to me a little bit about retaliation within gang culture, maybe even hip hop culture as well, too, that we can even trace. I tell you, very easy and simple. It's big, it's huge. You touch one, you get touched. If not you, one of your ones. That's it. Simple. Trace back these events in particular. You mess with the wrong one, you're cooked. That fight will never stop. Kind of in a way, starting from King Von's death in Georgia in 2020, and two years later, Quando Rondo's attempted murder, where his cousin was actually killed during this ambush. What is your kind of reaction to just this whole web and trail that has been going on essentially since 2020, even probably prior to that too? Well, you know, um, one of the things that's been popular with hip hop artists is to uh, maintain the same group of friends that they had since they were kids. Maintaining that loyalty, not changing up and uh, becoming a new person because you have fame. And so in keeping these, uh, these alliances, you know, sometimes there's beef, that follows from the streets. Bro, the crazy part is they used to be cool. Quando calling Dirk Big Bro. I done seen a video, bro, a whole video there on FaceTime talking about I love you, Big Bro, see you later, and all of that. But all of a sudden, they just got into it. Bro. That's crazy. Interact. This and dance. But you also leave. I ain't trying to hear all of that. An informant or. The insurance companies oh, yeah, make you pay. The informant part. Apparently somebody been told, hold up, hold up. So is somebody, man. And there's also been rumors circulating online that there might have been an informant or even a snitch within OTF that may have revealed. An informant is a snitch, lady. There's no such thing as an informant. It's in a snitch being separate. An informant is a snitch. Simple, plain and simple. Let me read the, the circumstances of it. What and there's also been it? rumors circulating online that there might have been an informant or even a snitch within OTF that may have revealed more to the feds. Do you think that's at all possible in this case, that they needed an informant on the inside to kind of give a scoop into kind of how everything was planned out and kind of how everything kind of came to fruition? Well, I know that there was a uh, very detailed information and it definitely indicates that Daniel, they say very detailed information, bro. The investigators did a great job uh, digging up surveillance footage and being able to uncover some of the, the intimate details. Um, I don't know if there was an informant necessarily, but it seems that they- Detective Barnes, you lie. 
You lie. <laughs> Detective Boris, you know damn well somebody done told that you know the person. You lie. Details. Um, I don't know if there was an informant necessarily, but it seems that they do have some very personal details in this, in their uh, indictment. And given if there was possibly an informant, kind of how did they all play a role into this case? Because again, within the culture, a lot of times there is a no snitching policy. But what are your thoughts on whether or not? There and also life in prison, you know, it's every man for himself at that moment. And so young, some of the defense. Bro, all of this is detective Barnes, bro. That's it. The video is done. Expensive houses and trash. We're going to get away with it. And we're looking a hundred, a hundred yards down the field. Works role in OTA. Hey man, we done. Jeff wasn't merely entertainment that he actually had a role within the street culture of conspirators, life and culture. And I feel like OTF before the music is, is a, uh, 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 y'all go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Like the video. I mean, that's it. I'm out. I feel like Detective Barnes is talking too much. Not yapping, but talking too much. Just like I be doing a lot of the times. But yeah. This is it, man. I'm, I I got to go watch out the, the, the informant. Informant. Informant video. I got to go. Apparently somebody done told, man. I got to go watch that video. But for this one, it's pretty much done. All of the video, bro. Almost pretty much the whole entire video. From like six minutes all the way to 18 minutes. is just Detective Barnes going at it, bro going at it i gotta go back to that gas ad right there upside gas ad because i gotta see what that talking about saving gas bro i need to save my gas bro but hey man y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video i mean comment down below let's get it man let's oh it's your boy max get back at you again with another video man hold on